Welcome, welcome everyone. Welcome to the Bridge Builders of Diversity, where we are bridging the gap between the typical community and the disability community. And today, Roberta and I thought we'd share a little bit about how we came here, like our origin story. Yeah. Like yeah. I'm a mother of a child with Down syndrome. My son was born 15 years ago. I knew nothing about Down syndrome. Um, and I learned a lot about it. And um, <laughs> I became an advocate um, all along the way. And um, I really dedicate that all to my son because he gave me that to do because I saw how they were treated and not a whole hell of a lot had changed since the earlier the times, days, right? Yeah, not much. That's I mean, so there are some funny. things that are better, but there's still a long way to go. There are. There's a long way to go and we want to help people get there. Right. And that is kind of how we got together. I'm Roberta. I'm a special education teacher. And well, I really met Sherry because I love vegetable soup. Yes. <laughs> it, I started it, a nonprofit because I wanted to bridge that gap because um, I, I still see those same issues uh, with my son, uh, people who are afraid or don't know how to interact or people who don't understand it's important for him to learn sign language because he's hard of hearing and the misconceptions and, oh, he's just got to talk. Um, right. But you didn't want to just advocate for Nate, did you? No, 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 no. You had a, you had a dream and Sherry's dream is a lot like mine. Mm. And while I was trying to avoid her at any cost, I did not want to get involved in this nonprofit because I had too much to do to begin with. And so do I. <laughs> and so does Sherry. But she had her meetings at Panera Bread. And I really loved their vegetable soup. Mm -hmm. And I had a weak moment. So I was like, yeah, I'll meet you at Panera Bread. And while I was eating my soup, I was slurping away. Sherry started sharing her passion and her dream. And her dream is a lot like mine. I, I want to make those connections between people who are typical. I, I use the air quotes around typical because there's a really thin definition of typical. People who are typical and people with special needs because, well, people with special needs enhance our lives. It, it's that simple. If you watch our TED Talk, we'll tell you more about it. Yes. So we're going to put that in the in the comments so that yep. you can we're going to put a link to our TED Talk in the comments because we, th while I was eating my soup and Sherry was talking, I realized that we share the same goals and the same passions and the same desire to make those connections between people who are perceived as typical and people who are perceived as, as disabled. And what a and you're more alike world. than than not alike too. Mm. Yeah. And we both realized that and we had that common connection. So there I there I go. I'm part of the nonprofit. Welcome to BBOD. <laughs> yes, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Um, get us out there, please. Listen to our TED Talk. Um, I'll put a video. link below. It, yes. You know, take some, um, we were just talking about self-care, take some self-care time and listen to some of our videos. You're going to learn something. You yes. might, you might <laughs> change the way you think about people with disabilities. And we would love that. Absolutely. That's, that, that's our, our goal is we, mm -hmm. we want you to realize what a great asset people with disabilities can be to our society and our culture. So and remember, and they have feelings just like us. They want to be included uh, in their community like you do. And all of those things, all those things we feel, they have the they same type of feelings useful too. And needed. What's that? They want to feel useful and needed. Yes. Yep. That's part of Maslow's hierarchy is feeling Absolutely. involved and connected. Mm -hmm. So kind of uh, like, you know, grandma and grandpa who are old, they still want to have a purpose in the family. You know, that's right. Yeah, that's absolutely right. So drop us a comment below if you'd like to hear maybe more of our origin story. Maybe you want to hear more about what we do here at Bridge Builders of Diversity. Or another interest that we share is we love to geek out and research topics that are connected to the disabled community. So absolutely. 
come on down, give us a listen, share it with your friends and subscribe. You will not be sorry. Yes. Like, share and subscribe, smash all those buttons and we appreciate you all. All right. Thank you guys. We have.